Hello and welcome. It's S tier rank and today I'm playing some more Hogwarts Legacy on PC. It's a friendly reminder that a wizard is never late nor early. He arrives precisely when he intends to. May not have got that quote particularly correct from memory, but had a little hiccup getting uh, started on the game tonight on time. Um, had to go find the PlayStation controller so that all the I can play brewed. it in halfway decent effort. Okay, let's see. Honestly, don't know how I played about a billion hours of uh, Skyrim using a keyboard and mouse and not a controller. But uh, I did it somehow. My hands are still here and not nubs. But I tell you, I uh, grew weary quickly playing this one. I think maybe it was the high repetition of uh, spell casting. Because uh, some of these hard battles, it turns into a little bit of a button mash. And, you know, I'm keeping track consciously, but every now and then I'll slip into a panic and button mash. It's okay. I've been a little sick today, so it's. Probably gonna be a noisy and gross day, so that makes you squeamish. Uh, please skip. I'll do my best to hide it. Um, let's see. I don't know if I need anything actually. Oh, is it a focus? Yeah. We need to get one more focus. We need two more chomping cabbages. I think we're out. Yeah, that's what the problem was. We were out of the duck bog tongue. It's always a shame when that happens. Um, you know, if I have enough money, I might go buy the uh, medium push a table, but 600 doesn't sound like that's going to be enough. Um, so maybe we should head out, look for a few money making missions, like maybe the treasure caves. Um, that will actually need to go to the map. So here we go. Kind of start up north, I suppose. Letters astronomy table up here, hand and trial. There we go. This sounds like a lovely place to start. Maybe we can hit up all three of those points of interest. I feel like I might have some clothing to sell too, because I just saw a bunch of gear in there. Um, let me see how much I have, because maybe it would be smarter to. Uh, go in here and sell my stuff. Yeah, I've got several things. Um, yeah. Let's see, did I see some unidentified stuff? Oh, no, I don't think so, but let's just double check. No, some of it's locked away. Okay. Well, I think I could probably do at least these two or three quests Travel while I'm over here, and then I'll... Uh, go sell whatever proceeds we have from this one as well. Hmm. 20 meters down. Oh, okay. I don't see myself doing this sort of thing forever though. Fancy I'll have my own operation worked out one day. People working for me. Let's see. I think that'll be an interesting set. Um, this one could use a little flipping dough, I'd say. And this one I'm gonna go invisible with. Um, let's see, I think we'll go like that. Oops. We'll just do a Petrificus Totalis on these two if we can. We look pretty alert though. There you go. You've won less follower. Stiff as a feather, light as a board. All right. Uh, da -da -da. Oh, you can actually collect Horklant by zapping it. I need that though. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Okay, let's see. Oh, nice.
I'll get out of here and go do that Merlin trial. And I think there was something else that we saw out here that was a point of interest. Let's see. There's actually an astronomy table too. That's what it was. I kind of like the idea of um, covering the maps, extreme points first, you know, and working my way through more and more towards Hogwarts, kind of alternating regions. Um, I might do that. I'm not positive. I also like doing some of the random stuff because sometimes you get stuck in a theme. Here's but one of those tables I don't know. Professor Shaw mentioned. All right. A little bit afraid about advancing in time. It looks like it may actually be near sunset already, so we'll just hold off for now. The sit still. Hello again, Wiz. We're just waiting until it's dark so we can use this astronomy table. It's almost ready, I think. So close. I'm guessing it's waiting until it's almost pitch black out here before they'll call it night. So I haven't taken a moment to watch uh, sunrise and sunset yet in this game, but I bet it'd be pretty cool. Man, the altitude on this is pretty high. I didn't realize it could go this high. Wow. Impressive. A lot of detail on the map, even at a far distance, you know, like still seeing at least mountainous features and trees for a good distance and grass indicators and stuff. Um, I think that's not bad. All right, maybe it's ready for me now. Likely this astronomy table will be best used when it's dark. Okay, come on. Probably could have completed the Merlin trial by now. <laughs> there is a trial for, uh, or a challenge for running through these balloons too, I believe, so. It might be good oh, yeah, to he's likely studied here. <sighs> so close. Yeah, that sounds almost like a uh, storyline for an anime or a special Batman episode or something. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Well, these are kind of tricky. Let's see. So we got to fit the pieces in and then zoom in and out once we see where it goes. I think I might see it. Let's see. Oh, dear. See, it's got to be in this one. There's another cluster, I believe. Uh, da -da -da. We got a lot of points. Let's see, do we have a little trio here? 
Um, I think that's going to be how we're going to find it. Let's find where the trio is and line it up. Wow. That's tough. Um, now that could be a different piece, like say this leg over here. It's looking a little bit more plausible. Um, what other pieces we have that could fit? I don't think it could possibly be this part up top. That's just not enough. Um, hmm. And there's a little bit of a funky pattern too. Let's try aiming you up this way. Wow. Nope. Um, hmm. I'm trying to see if I see any other tripled up stars that are a good fit. The two mushed up together making a bean form. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I see what you mean. Um, that's gotta be pretty distinct. It's a good call. But which ones? This one's a little bit of a bean look. Um, that could be the feet, maybe. That's gotta be it. There you go. Good call. It's Centaurus. Awesome. Good call. That was very good. Wow, good eye. <laughs> well, we gotta hand that one to Wiz. That was uh, definitely escaping me. So, good job. Alright, let's see. I've got a Merlin trial we're gonna run up to next. Okay, let's see. What do you have in store for me this time? Uh oh. We'll probably have a fight here in a moment. Okay. There's something over there. I don't know what to do with it. Maybe that. Maybe they're just targets. Rebellion. And the one up over this way. I'm doing well. How are you? Are you feeling uh, any better? Alan himself would be proud. You feeling oh okay coughing just a little bit feeling fine now well, that's good to hear i was a little bit under the weather myself today and still am but feeling a lot better than the morning had a bit of a fever so that was fun uh let's see we can still get out of here without causing a fight let's see if there's anything that we might want first i don't know let's go ahead and do it It's been the trend for me. Um, been working too much. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, where did this guy go? There we go. 
Your blood's on Ranrock's hands. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can light a fire. Nice. And we can even split some wood. Uh, anything else? Looks like we got a little bit. Collect these lace wings and a few of these guys. And let's see. Um, I think there may have been one other thing we wanted to do over here. I know there was another Merlin trial nearby, but I thought I saw something else. Um, small bandit camp and I think that means we've already got it. So yeah, the check mark. Den inhabited by Thestrals. See what we have here. Medium bandit camp. Treasure vault. Um, what is this? An infamous foe. Um, I'd love to go try it. We'll just fly our way over there. No idea if we're ready to handle this one, but we'll try. Might do a little bit of a stealth opener, see if we can get two or three of the sloppy guards out. And depending on how well that goes, we'll do um, some fast, hard hitting stuff, some potions and tools. Ah, soup. Thank you. Delicious soup. And fairy out here. Interesting. Totalis. Actually, I didn't know Petrificus Totalis would work on an fairy, so that's cool. Hmm. I wonder if this is going to run out my disillusionment. Maybe not. This has some creepy potential to be a really tough enemy. I don't know what I'm getting into here. I like it. Feels a little bit Lovecraftian in design. Hmm, I can't tell if the guidance is working properly or not. Okay, there we go. Oh, a rampant dug bog. A rampant one. Let's uh, double check we understand these creatures. Um, actually, no. Let's go back. Backpack. Beast, beast. Where are we with beast? Um, creatures. Actually, they show up in the enemies, I think. Yep. Now, where's our dug bog? Give me a little dug bog. There we go. Known to villagers trapped it, so Bog had been corrupted with some type of magic. Okay. And let's see what's the hint with them. And I want to force spells that will flip or force their bodies in various directions. Levioso. Okay. Let's see what we can do here then on our spells. Levioso. Let's get a Levioso on there. And. Yeah, go from there. Let's get really close and we'll throw out some Chinese chomping cabbages on it. And other things. Um, we'll get juiced up on everything. Oops. Did we get everything? I think so. Now it's time to do this. Okay. 
Okay. I think we got him. Uh oh, he has some backup. Let's get a few more of these out then. Hmm. Well, this is terrifying. Wow. That was really tough. Did we get everything? Rebellion. Wow. That was intense. Big frog indeed. I felt like something that might have belonged in uh, Elden Ring or something. <laughs> I'm a little bit shook. I'm gonna go uh, back to Hogwarts for a minute to uh, our memory requirement, do a harvest and replenish as many of my potions as I can. That was wild. I like that. That was very challenging and actually scary once the backup came. I don't know why I didn't think about him having like little juniors running around that would help uh, take me out. But of course. Okay, let's go see if we can um, maybe get some things on the brew first. Or just pick up existing ones. That'll be nice. Uh, let's see. Let me use one of those. Um, so what do we have left? We have to make a focus. And that's it. Okay. I think I'll be fighting a little bit of everything now. Actually, probably most everything. Room left to fill. Oh, here we go. Oh, we're harvesting plants. <laughs> here we go. Let's see. Um, I think that we have. Oh, we get. I think we need wig and weld. We need a couple wig and welds. I don't need it. I was just seeing if you're paying attention. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. see how we doing now got just about everything I need a little bit more on our tools but that'll be available in like another run so that won't be too long could go see if uh, any of our creatures are ready for cuddles uh, let's see we got to put some grooming stuff on here so let's do this and this. Hey, come on, little buddy. Looks like one of them's really harvest. Can't tell. Okay, there we go. Okay, I guess they're about to eat. Oh, this one's ready. I guess I thought so. Oh, it's a Thestral. Okay. Yep. All the animals. And I don't even have them all yet. There are more to come. Let's 
let's see uh, when the moon cast is ready and who else we have oh another moon cat needs to be fed okay okay yeah that's a uh thestral there uh one of the magical creatures that um they uh in the harry potter universe they're usually invisible to people but if a person has a close encounter with death like seeing someone pass away or almost die as herself um they'll be able to see them but you know they're just magical creatures they look kind of somewhat of a mix of like a horse and like a dragon or something i think they're interesting they are a little bit scary though uh let's see You should be proud of all the potions you brew. See, did we actually get it? There we go. Good. All right. So that puts us back to a good spot to go um, out again. And I think I would like to go to Hogsmeade and do around the cells because I might just be lucky and able to um, buy some more stuff from tomes and scrolls. I'd like to get the um, potion tables. Sometimes it seems all I might want to like a pair of each size just to see how they decorate differently. Um, I'm not 100% sold on it, but I'm just kind of enjoying um, seeing stuff from the room of requirement, you know, get built out a little bit further. Take your time looking about. Plenty of wonderful books to stoke a curious mind like yours. All right, let's see. Go here, and if it's not legendary, I'll probably not keep it if it's not an upgrade. I'll keep that one for sure. Okay, well that's nice. We'll hold on to it. And let's see. Hold on to that one. And I guess we'll let that one go. Okay, so 1658. What can we do with that? A potting table with a large pot. A potting table with a medium pot. Um, potting table with two medium pots. Pine table with three small pods and a medium potion station. Okay, let's get that. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Hmm. Pine table with three small pods. Three, three would be six, and that would be definitely less than the ten that we have currently. So I don't think I'm going to bother with that for now. I may buy Let me know if there's anything supplies else I from can do to help. others first, but let's uh warp back to the room of requirement and check out those new potion stations because I definitely want to see um, I'm too eager the animal crossing factor in this is uh, too fun okay oh come on open up now, let's see. We're going to have to get out the right spell. Okay. Two burners and a single burner. I could have two, two, and two if it'll let me have six. Oh, I can have seven. Okay. I know it's not super imaginative, but I could have something like that. And then and the small ones on the end. And we can just kind of pretend that they're specializing in various techniques or something. Um, and I could just as easily have an escrow this other thing over here. Uh, let's see.
Hmm. I could make it divvy up there, but I wonder if I can tilt these a little bit more. Like, I wish that I could turn it at an odd angle. I can disable snapping. Let's see. Am I holding an L2? Ah, I see it. Okay. Now that might let me do... It does. It lets you do angles. I don't think that I could do that before. Um, so if I hold, if I let go... Oh no, it could do it. Okay. I swear, maybe I just uh, hadn't used this particular... Um, piece of furniture. I didn't know maybe this one could do it and others couldn't. So I think I have to put it here first or else that little model where it was is going to get in the way and mess us up. Then let's turn off snapping. Okay. So this leaves enough room that I could get both of those. Um, I think that would be kind of cool. Then... Uh, let's move this guy about a unit closer. Same thing with this one. Oh yeah. It's a similar gap and I think it can move this just a tiny bit closer to you. There we go. I think this looks kind of interesting actually. It's not amazing and you know it's not the most efficient layout because or you know we could actually do kind of back-to-back -back plus signs with these um that would be cool i wonder if i have just enough space to do that because that would be a little bit less obvious um hold on this will look like both a chemist and like an engineer or an architect came together to make this beautiful layout or maybe like a professional chef or something because they, they would know all about like optimal arrangements of gear hey there we go that's pretty cool it's still a little bit crowded um but i think it'd be fun to do a mad dash around this um I could balance it out a little bit with, let's do this. We'll put these up there against, like we'll say these are, oops, more volatile type of uh, potions. So we'll put these up here and then we'll move these inwards. So it's just one station. It can be kind of like the uh, potion base mixer or something that you know goes into there. I know it would be awesome to be able to uh, like what I would give to just have like one or two of the spells that are convenient, you know, like automatically cook food or move furniture, you know, or whatever, like, it would just be amazing. Just even tie my shoes automatically. That would be awesome. Okay. So, let's see. What do we have here? Duck bog, tongue, and thestral hair. Okay. Now, let's see. Have I leveled up enough to get use of something? I think I'm I might have actually because my talents have gone up too. Um, let's look at our gear and see. Oh, good. That's awesome. And then this one is a down overall, so. Wow. I bet we could get some of this upgraded before we sell it to you. I feel like there was maybe one more piece, like a uh, cloak and robe. Yeah. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Man, that is pretty good. I think I previously upgraded it, but that's okay. Um, let's go back and see what I'm missing to be able to upgrade those new pieces I just equipped or anything else that I might have. Niffler fur. Okay. I've got nifflers. 
pet looks like it's gonna be common phoenix um phoenix okay i can't do anything about that but the nifflers we can cover okay um i might go hunt phoenixes and deary claws today too why not um all right beast we're gonna put up oops we'll put up our moon cast and we'll take out our nifflers. Come on, niffler. And how about our floopers while we're at it? Oh, well, they got a ways to go. What about, will never believe this. what about our toad? No, they're on their timer, that's why. We're just going to have to leave some of them out, I guess. Okay, come on, little buddies. Okay, good. And... Yeah. So let's do those upgrades and then we'll sell the pieces that we don't want um, a little bit later. Here we go. Ah, graph horn too. Okay, I think that might have been that. Okay. Let's, uh,. It's time that we take off for catching a few more fantastic beasts. Um, let's look. Do to do, do world map. I have no idea where anything is. Um, let's see what is this? Giant purple toad, Thestrals, purple toad, Jabernals. Um. I'm sure I'd see another wild something out here. Purple toads. Hippogriffs. Oh. More toads. All the toads. Unicorn. We're looking for something we don't have yet. More purple toads. Nifflers, Huskines, oh, oh we looked at this one, Unicorn, okay. Hmm. Oh, here's one. More Huskines, okay. Uh, let's see, we've already seen that one too, okay. What's this? Toads. They are everywhere. Buskins. I've seen that one. Mooncast. Come on. We need some new things, guys. Come on. Where are you hiding it? I wonder if they're in that region that I haven't explored yet. Like way down south and east. But that's where they're at. All the cool creatures. Hmm. More nifflers. Jobber knolls. Measles. Have I got measles yet? I don't think I have. Um, let me double check, but I'm pretty sure I haven't. I can't remember if measles are the pretty ones. No, Jabernol, bloopers. Yeah. Yep, no measles. Um, let's go ahead and start with that, I guess. 
This will be exciting. Okay, looks like we have a decently close by fast travel. I should investigate. I wonder how long I'm supposed to do this for. Oh boy. This is a dangerous place to be. Hmm. Guess I'm supposed to use something like this. Interesting. I haven't really explored this area before, I don't think. This is like a proper dungeon. I feel like I've briefly been through part of this, but not this much of it. Hmm. I don't think I can make it through that. I might just warp out of here for the sake of uh, getting to this piece that I want to get first. Um, looks like my best bet is to go over here. Yeah, it does look kind of landed ish. The, uh, there's a, one or two other areas. I've been to this like super mountainous tunnel, going to an area indeed, out in the southeast. And I'm most pleased um, to be included. it was. It was very like city looking, like modern city. It was really cool. I guess it would be the same kind of technology that you know 1800s London would have had, which you know wouldn't look super out of place. It just look antique today, you know. So these are the measles. I should probably assign my bag first. Here we go. I'll look after you. Levioso. Come on, kitties. I think these kitties kind of want to come with me. <laughs> there, there. I'm not going to. Can't remember if I ever beat that one or not, or if it got me. All right, let's see. Uh, let's check our talents. I'm not sure if I want to invest too much more in the room requirement stuff, because you know I already use these things somewhat sparingly. Um, so even if it does enhance them, I'm just not sure how much it's going to help me personally. Yeah, yeah, that troll was out there, wasn't it? Uh, let's see. Not too worried about that. I'm not too worried about sprinting either. So let's see, 7, 12, 19. Okay. I think that would be cool. Okay, what about dark cards? What do we have? I don't want to worry about that. I don't want to worry about that one either. So that's three of them that I won't get, I think. I decided not to get the uh, unforgivable curses for now. So that's three, and then let's see. I think either of those I would get. Um, yeah. 
So let's see, that'd be one, two. That'd be cool getting, what about core? Perfect Protego, that sounds tricky. That'd be nice, Wigan Weld healing. It's nice, but not really a must. Maybe we'll get one of them. Um, well, okay. Not a whole bunch of must here, I'd say. I think for now I'm going to go with... I think the Wigan Weld. And then from here out, I think everything else will be maybe a little bit cooler um, talent-wise. Because I probably won't get that last one unless I feel kind of desperate for it. Okay, let's see. This has a downgrade. And um, let's go ahead and go to the remit requirement. And we'll um, put in our measles so that we can... Um, Harvest, you know, they're goods, and I think it will maybe since we had three of them go sell one, but I don't know. We might have enough space, we don't have to run to the cell right away. We'll see. Okay, yeah, there's still some space. Settle yourself, I mean, you know, home. Alright, measles. I wonder what the little plus means. Um, it's interesting. Yeah, that's... I will say it is a little bit dark how uh, this game is with the pets. Like, you know, Pokemon games in recent years have added like caring for the Pokemon in different ways, like petting them and playing with them and stuff. But um, yeah, like the, the harvesting the stuff just after playing with them is a little bit strange. But I guess it's just kind of like a mini game, you know, like something to distract you from all the intense violence that you're going to commit on the people you deem bad. <laughs> all right. Okay. Um, so I think if I did anything, I'd put one of these back, but we'll leave the three of them here for now because, um, it'd be good to run down the timer on them, um, since they're my latest thing. And let's see if anything here can be upgraded. Yeah, you're right. Maybe it is shiny, similar to Pokemon, because I've seen that symbol on a couple now, and they always had slightly different, um, patterns compared to something, so you could be right. Just looking to see if any of these things could have a thing added to it. I guess this one could. Um, there we go. Let's use Puskeen. We've got plenty of that. Okay. Nice. And we have anything else to pick up? You should be proud of all the potions you brewed. I don't think we have anything to identify. Okay. All right. Nice. Um, let's see what else we want to get on the map today. Maybe we'll continue blazing a trail through here um let's start by getting this waypoint and we'll work to this one to see if i can kind of quickly cut through without letting myself get too distracted or into too many big fights off on another adventure are we uh oh looks like i'm immediately going to get in trouble This looks similar to where uh, a certain character in one of the late movies passed away. I'll just leave it at that. No spoilers. Even though the movie's been out quite a while. I'll try not to spoil it. 
There you go. We'll actually explore this region a little bit better later. Just want to activate some of our blue network. Um, let's see. I guess this one kind of in the middle takes precedence. Wonder if I'll be able to fly up high. Looks like I can. Oh, what's over here? Ah, uh, job rentals, I think. Okay. Looks like it could be some enemies in the area. Uh oh. Get around the trees, buddy. Just imagine just how creepy it'd be to like see somebody just flying up in the trees around you like this. Be terrifying. Be like, what now? I caught you. Okay. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Oh uh, yeah, this is a pretty cool looking spot. Hello kitty kitty. Watch this, this is very important to the story. Okay. Let's see if we can sell something. Hello, madam. Is everything all right? I'm simply beside <laughs> myself since Rococo ran away. He's my pet Niffler. I'm sorry to hear that your pet is missing. Thank you. I appreciate your words. I mean, I've had him for years. He's lovely company. Whilst on our morning constitutional the other day, south of here, he and I stumbled upon Henrietta's hideaway. They say that Henrietta was a paranoid recluse, filled her castle with all manner of traps to keep thieves from pinching her valuables. As we drew near, the morning sun reflected off something in a window, and before I knew it, Rococo was off. Oh, I've been worried sick, but I'm not about to meddle with Merlin knows what's inside that house, or the Ashwinders that are lurking about. Why did Henrietta feel the need to protect her house like she did? Henrietta was a baroness who married well, more than a few times. Her immense wealth drove her to a life of suspicion and isolation. The more wealth she amassed, the more paranoid she became of losing it. Hence the terrifying traps throughout the hideaway. Not even her family has been willing to deal with them to get to her fortune. Why don't you just get Rococo back yourself? Henrietta's hideaway is treacherous enough, but add Ashwinders into the picture and, well, I love Rococo, but I love staying alive more. I'll keep an eye out for Rococo. Oh, that's terribly kind. But stay away from the hideaway. Far too dangerous. If someone does find him in the hideaway, they shall be well rewarded. Henrietta's treasures are theirs for the taking. She certainly won't mind now. What do you have for sale? I actually did come to her to see if I could sell some What's stuff. What's brought you here today? So I thought I had one or two pieces. There you go. Can that hideaway does sound intriguing. Perhaps I should investigate, for Rococo's sake. Hmm. I have to double check these on the menu. Thank you for stopping by. Let's look. It's overall minus 18. Okay. So yeah, we should sell it. And... Okay, so that's minus two. And minus 13, so we can get those taken out. Okay. Yeah. Yep, exactly. I was definitely what wanting to, uh, to help you with, Miss Coffee. Just My take Niffler, care of a few things. Coco ran off to Henrietta's hideaway. Like surprise. <laughs> I'm hoping you'll keep an eye out for him. What do you have for sale? Okay, let's What's see. brought you here today? All right. Time to sell, sell. And just because I'm paranoid, I want to make absolutely sure this is at the level 21 legendary. Thank I think you for stopping that, by. I, that is the one I want to sell. Otherwise, it would show as equipped, but let's make sure. Yeah, level 21. Okay, good. I'm just always paranoid what it's going to sell the wrong thing, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't Rococo show you. Ran off to Henry um, 
What do you have Anything to say? you have equipped, so. What's brought you here today? Okay. No. Good, good. Now. Thank you for stopping by. Another thing to do is, I think that we could go ahead and do this quest. Ooh, it is a long ways away, so let's fly over. Let's have a little fun flying. Oh, I can actually see the tracer shooting off to the right. That was cool. Wonder if it's already made it over there. Oh, cool. Yep. Flying over some treacherous water. It's pretty good water, I would say, like good effects and everything. Okay, let's see. Oh, we got a troll down here. This must be the castle where Miss Coffee's Niffler ran away. Now to find a way inside. We'll try to be a little sneaky. Revelio. Okay, Dunstan and Trinity. When we're done here, I'm going straight to the hogshead. Or perhaps I'll just go now. Ashwinders! I'd better find a way around them. Or perhaps through them. Murder. I guess I can do a zap or something. That'll get a few of them looking in a certain way. Did you hear that? Here we go. I think I could probably keep distracting this guy. I know I'm not hearing things. Perhaps it's dinner. Somebody out there? Uh, if it's that cat again, I will. There we go. Ten good for you. Expulsion. Defender. Expulsion. Levioso. What are you fools, John? Every Okay, let's see this. And how about one of these? And lastly, let's put on one of these. Um, how about a focus potion too? Nice. Now this one. Okay. Revelio. There's also an astronomy table all the way out here. An astronomy table. Should prove useful once the sun's down. That's a pretty good little fight. Good for you. Oh, my pet. Are you talking about, like, uh, the hippogriffs? Or... Um, the beast that we were catching earlier. Here's one of those tables Professor Shaw mentioned. Okay. Oh, another one of these tough ones. Okay, three of them. They're kind of closer together. Hmm. Oh, let's see. That looks a lot like... It could be like this. There we go. Oh. I didn't notice the pet. I may have, uh... Ran past it. Uh, let's see. 
yeah, let's let's go back down here. I do agree. The, the Nifflers do so get, you know, really distracted by uh, any kind of flashy stuff. So, I mean, they're I know I'm they're crafty little I things. One. Certainly looks to be the place. Almost like they might be able to teleport to, but I can't remember for sure. I hope the Ashwinders haven't done anything with Rococo. Where in Merlin's name am I? Let's see, this looks like it's going to be a decent little dungeon. Confringo. Mm, cool. Okay. Um, we'll do the same over here. Incendium. Levioso. Incendium. Now let's see, what does this have on it? Oh, we need to bring it over to you. So let's get us our Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. And this one is a floating one, I think. Yeah, the cubes are uh, definitely getting this. Let's see. Let's see, I thought that's what that one is. Oh, it's Glacius, I guess. That looks more like the Glacius symbol. Um, there we go. That's cool. Kind of a fire and ice type theme. There we go. Ashwinders. Should have treasure. That Niffler's certainly leaving quite a trail. <laughs> I know. We'll follow Wait, the trail. Is that the hippogriff from my treasure map? I don't want to work with goblins. Not now. Not ever. It's too Expulsion. Well, that didn't work out very well. I better watch my step in here. Here we go. Oh. I'm trying to get away. That was bad. Man, this guy is just like heavy hitter. Holy moly. Let's see. Let's get us out a. one of these guys. And let's see. Let's also swap out. Incendio. Cool. Incendium. Oh, I've seen you, Jewel. Oh, a lot of trash. Someone that just got wiped out by an eight-year-old. Trying to do a Fifth's Totalis on me. What a dreadful run. I guess we'll try to do the dueling challenge. Hmm. What are we getting out there? Better celebrate screaming that. There you go. We got it. Oh, that was a trick. 
What is this doing to me? Okay. Well, that was interesting. Yeah, it was a lot of people. I think I got kind of lost on where we were, so I want to backtrack a little bit so we can look for uh, treasure. Okay, so we're at the very beginning. Time to start our door to door. All right, there is a place to the left. And then it looks like maybe a room over here down into the right and stuff. And let's Incendio. see. This is a room switcher, so there might be something back here. Hopefully there's something cool back here. Confringo. Revelio. Aha. Another one of those puzzle things. Confringo. Wingardium Leviosa. Revelio. Hmm. I wonder what that did. Well, not sure on this, so let's uh, set back out. Maybe we'll see something. Maybe there's more than one that needs to be done. Since we had the fire and ice theme here. Ah! Oh. This is something that's gotta get lit. Incendio. Okay. Let's see if there's more of the hall to restore here. Confringo. Revelio. Hmm. Let's go over this way, I suppose. Confringo. I wonder if I can get past that. Maybe when guarding the US if it. Oh. Let's try this again. Um wait a minute, how do we get out of here? Rebellion. Okay, that's the floor that does it. Am I in a prison now? I think I am. It was a trap. Um, wow, interesting. How am I going to get out of here? Wow, actually has me a little bit stumped. I'm not seeing. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, let's go back. All right, let's try one more time. Where was the ground that pulled me around? Was it right here? I think it was. Um, Revelio. Yeah, so can I do like a rest of momentum or something on this? Maybe Glacius. No. Hmm. Maybe I could glacius it though. Maybe that's what I should do. Rebellion. Capulso. Accio. Glacius. Arresto momentum. There we go. Arresto momentum did it. Okay. Rebellion. That makes sense. Took a little while, but we got there. Okay, um, did that do us? I don't think that'll do us any good. So, we got the uh, treasure out of here, and that's the uh, big thing. So, let me open the door. Revelio. 
Weird. Maybe I had to be on the other side of it. Arrest on the Revelio. Weird. Maybe that's what I need to do, but on the other side. Revelio. I'm not sure I understand why it got set that way. Okay. We'll keep exploring. Wingardium Leviosa. Okay, what does this one want? He wants Glacius, doesn't it? Glacius. Okay. Revelio. Nice. Let's run back over this way for a second. Yeah, there we go. And all right, so to get over here. Oh, there's Inferi back there. We'll do that too, but I want to go to this one that I unlocked first. Looks like it's a dead end, which is that one little treasure, so worked out nice. So now we can go to the Inferi over here. And I feel, you know, Wooden Guardian Levio says want to be the way on this one too. But maybe we need Accurate. this first. Oh. Okay. We're going to get our fire spells ready. And how about a Flippendo or something? Confringo! Incendio! Flippendo! Levio! There we go. That's the only one. Strange. Revelio. So for sure that would be a big, big fight. Okay. Let's head on to the next area. Let's see. I think I might be backtracking, but I'm not positive. Oh yeah, so let's see. No, okay, we're doing good. Because I got that other one that just had the small treasure in it. All right, uh, let's see. So there's up the stairs, and we've already done this back room area, I think. So let's go. Oh, I think it's time to go upstairs. Revelio. Hmm. It's like a back chamber up here of some sort. Can't tell if there's a secret chamber or this is just a room. It's a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I don't see anything. Maybe we gotta head over here. Rebellion. Ah, there's one of the tricky floors. Okay, tricky floor. I should follow the treasure to find that Niffler. Arrest the momentum. Very Rebellion. tricky. All right, some new guys to deal with. Let's see if we can be sneaky on a couple. Um, Rebellion. first we'll need to sneak over here. CC3 galleons, not bad. Okay. Yeah, more people for sure. Hopefully, we'll get a couple of them. Um, not too much of a problem. Oh, more rush winders. Yourself. 
Someone over there. Okay, I think I might be able to get a line on one or two. How terrifying it would be to see all of your friends oh, just to fall apart in front of you like you. that. You still don't know where I am, do you? Oh man, oh. I wish I could get back on that supposed to barrel like I was on. Miss me. guys kind of kind of even the playing field oh I'm slowing one of them into me can you do that? I don't Interesting if that's the case. Wow. Oh, cool. I'd love to have a top hat one of these days. Rebellion. See, I keep hearing a weird noise. I wonder what it is. Oh. Maybe this is the door opening. What are we missing here? Ah. I see it now. Let's see, is this a fire? No. Is this one over here? Okay. And we need to use Levioso on it. Levioso. Okay. And there is a fire Rebellion. cube in here somewhere. We're gonna, I think it's when I use Revealio, I hear like a weird sound. Wonder. I guess I'm gonna have to use the sliding thing first. Actually, is this a. Confringo. No, it's not. I thought it was a destructible wall, but it wasn't. So we'll have to go through this. The musical map. Ah, uh, that's what we're hearing. Okay. What's this? Some sort of treasure map? There we go. This is the thing we've been looking for. Nice. Well, oh, it's locked. like it.
This Niffler's a tricky one. Yeah, well, buddy. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> nice. Everything's all. I hope Miss Coffee appreciates this. Hope it's a good one. Oh. Rebellion. Cool. Let's go finish this quest and we'll go to the room requirement. See what else we can do and uh, maybe after shops or something we might call it a day. I wonder if this is going to be a quicker exit. Well, it did bring me a little bit forward and out of the cave. Actually, it brought me all the way back to the beginning. Wow, beautiful design there. Okay. Ah, 4.20 a.m. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, depending on your perspective, either very early in the morning or very late in the evening. Uh, let's see. We'll go here. Oh, okay. Let's see. I thought I saw a warp. Oh, excuse me. Hiccups. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Okay. All right, Agnes. Let's see. My poor Rococo. Miss Coffee. I found your Niffler. Oh, goodness, really? Oh, thank you. You're very brave. I was at my wit's end. Oh, thank you. How's my sweet Rococo? Bye, May I have him back? I'm sure he'll be happy to go home. He will. Oh, my brave little explorer. My greedy, greedy boy. Oh, I can't wait to get him home. Thank you again for what you did. From now on, I'll keep Rococo on a lead whenever we go out. Nice. Well, Rococo is home. Let's see. Yep, that all looks like it is so worthy. I think that this unidentified face item may be an improvement though. Let's see, this is a 25. That comes out to even, but it is a little 26. It's weird. Um, this one's naughty as well, so really this unidentified piece is what we need to check out. And I think both of these are downgrades. Level 23, 27, and 26. Okay. We'll sell some of this stuff for sure. Yep. Might as well go ahead and sell most of it to her. I'll have to identify these things, but I think the other things can be sold. What's brought you here today? <laughs> okay, where's the downgrade? Same here. Elf made ivory gloves. Okay, let's keep our unidentified legendary, please. What a stunk. This is actually shown as a plus. Let's see, 59, but cannot upgrade. Yeah, I think that ultimately these both worked out to not matter because I mean we do have that legendary that we're sitting on. Okay, almost through. Yeah, I think going to the room requirement. Thank you for stopping by. This is a requirement now. 
Let's actually look at what she has to sell. What's I actually didn't look at all. Ah, uh, so she's a clothing vendor. I don't think that she'll have anything. Hmm. Orange eye newt goggles. I think I may have already had a pair of that. It may be a lower level, perhaps. Thank you for stopping by. Hmm. Mind ponders. Let's see about our challenges first. Another combat. Oh, 40 Dark Wizards for Taylor Shielding 1. Nice. And Necromantic uh, Protection 2. Very nice. Okay. Go ahead and clear off our collections for the day, too. Let's see, an Ashwander Ranger. These witches have mastered the full body bind curse in order to capture and terrorize their victims. Since they prefer to avoid the heart of a battle, pulling them close to the Accio is an effective way to disrupt their plans. Stunning spell is often enough to knock them totally unconscious, but cleverness and skill are required to successfully cast it at them. Dunstan Trinity. Proficient pickpocket, Dunstan has always enjoyed the art of thieving. In fact, it was his light fingerness that led him to a friendly, friendless existence at Hogwarts. Okay. It's kind of a sad origin story there, buddy. Uh, let's see. I think it's just that one thing. Yep. I think we definitely had two. Oh, we had more than two. Okay. Oh, let's see. An ancient magic focus. Okay. And... But we got a couple things here. Oh yeah, the potions table. I forgot about that. That may be... I think we had this uh, three-seater sofa too. Okay. That might be it for there. Um, inventory. That's the Nifflers, probably. And what else do we have? Oh yeah, the musical map. That'll be fun when we find where that is. Not sure if it's in Hogwarts, so you gotta restore the bells or what. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we'll figure that one out later. For now, let's uh go to our room of requirement. You brood. Okay, this will be good. Too bad I'm full on this. Let's uh use one of our thunder trees and one of our Idris. Since we're full up on them, we might get something a little bit more rare. Okay, let's identify all of our gear. Oh, good. Two ups. Alright, nice. Nice. Oh, three. Nice. I didn't expect to get it all the way up. I need to catch Dairy Claws. Maybe on the next stream we'll get that too. Alright, let's see. Okay, face wear. Let's see what we have here. Ah, the orange eye newt. Okay. Not nice. Okay, that's a decent change. I think it looks kind of goofy. I think I've had it once before, but we'll keep it because it's kind of funny. 200 and 200. Okay. And yeah, definitely cycling through headgear styles at this point because I recognize some of this stuff from lower level things as well not complaining just stating uh, let's see 150 and 200 so I've already got on the better of the two all right um, let's head down here 
see what we can harvest, and we might have one or two potions we need to make. Oops. We're using up a lot of our tools so we can get ahead in these fights. Oh, good. Full on the um, mandrakes at least. We can use a lot of the tentaculas. It's probably a good time to start using uh, fertilizer too. Drake's here. Okay, now where are our cabbages? This would be great. I mean, building six at a time, that's half of our inventory that we could replace over and over, so. I mean, that's awesome. Alright, we need Maxima and Focus. I don't think we have any of those laying around anywhere. Okay, there they go. Um, we'll just hang on this last minute and we'll get them both. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that we should fertilize right now, but we have so much of the others that I don't think we're going to have to do it. So. Um, let's go to here for a minute and let's assign this spell and I want to kind of pull these things closer together because I think it'd be nice to see the plants you know, a little bit uh, closer to one another. We actually have room after this modification to do uh, something a little bit different like have a chair or something in the background. I don't know how to think about it. Um, I think this makes it a little bit more cozy, at least, I think. Um, felt kind of like a big empty space before. Maybe I could put furniture here um, while we're waiting. Let's just conjure up maybe one or two things. Yeah, how about one of each? Conjuration budget is covering. Okay. Little Angel me in a different way later. I wonder why you can't sit in them. That would be nice. But here we go. I think it, it's good. So we got a nice little home base going, and soon we could decorate and do some other cool, fun stuff, I think. Um, I may even turn these tables around. So. Maybe next stream will be a combination of catching a few more of the beasts and um, getting our decoration set just right. So I want to go ahead and get in here and start a manual save and roll the credits and say, Thanks for watching. It's been ST Rank. Follow me on Mastodon, Twitch, and YouTube, and I'll have an upload on YouTube soon. Thanks. Have a good night.